Okay, welcome back uh, to my uh, go through of my plastic and metal mountain. Um, hope you're enjoying it so far, but we've got um, much more to do. Um, I'm, like I was saying in the first video, I'm sure it's not as big as some people's mountains, but it's still a lot of stuff, um, and uh, a lot of it's in sort of boxes. So if I if I were to to stack it all up, it would make uh, quite a sizable mountain. I'm sure my cat would love to uh, sort of uh, to climb up on top of it and sit on it, uh, like she'd normally do when when you've got things to uh, uh, build up. Um, so here we have a um, a sort of a plain back box with offensive miniatures written on it, and then inside we have a whole bunch of. Um, SWAT and criminal figures. Um, now these, when I bought these, um, I was under the impression they were 28 mil. Um, and when they came, they are either a really small uh, 28 mil uh, size or or 28 mil, and they're, or they're 25 mil. Um, so I'm not 100% sure, but they are really nice figures. But they just the, the scale of them uh, kind of ruined it for me. So they kind of got, again, just got put put, put to the side. Um, this is the SWAT team. Uh, great miniatures. So that's those, and a lot of them are in the same position actually in that particular bag. Uh, I think I brought these as a, like a bunch, as sort of like a uh, one of their deals. I think it was like maybe, Thirty-five pounds, something like that, and you got um, two big bunches of SWAT. You got a couple of unique figures, um, and you also got a bunch of civilians and a bunch of criminals. So in here we have a lot of the specialist SWAT, so things like sniper teams and the leaders and the uh, bomb tacks and the medics and all that sort of stuff. Uh, I'm not going to bother showing you them. And then in the little pack, the final pack, we've got a bunch of. Um, criminals and hostages um, now these guys are really small I'm sure they must be 25 mil I'm sure of it um, so we have a bunch of sort of civilian figures with various um, shotguns mostly shotguns actually uh, Uh, oh, and uh, we do actually have a mini Uzi and a pistol there. And then the last three figures are actually like a bunch of hostages. So we have, I think they're supposed to be like a family. So you've got the mother, the father, the mother and the daughter, uh, all uh, with their hands bound uh, to be used as hostages. Um, and like I say, um, I could really use these figures for all sorts of stuff if they were tw proper 28 mil, but because they're so small, um, I can't really use them for anything. So I was very disappointed with that. Um, so again, they're destined to stay in the mountain forever more, probably. Um, but that's something. A little bit different. Okay, so is that the way? And we're doing quite good. We've got past. Um, we're coming up on uh, the sort of halfway point, I'd say. Um, we, but we are, we are going into sort of like uh, one of the. Uh, I'll go, we'll go for these next, actually. So this is another bunch of bot action stuff. Uh, we have a. Um, a box of uh, German pioneers. We have a pioneer uh, half track. We have, and then also um, we have uh, some uh, motor motorcycles, some Germans on motorcycles. So we have a um, a motorcycle with sidecar there. We have a single bike rider there, and we have another single bike rider 
there. So two bikes and a uh, half um, sidecar. Um, so that is uh, those. Again, I think when I bought these, I think I bought them in a deal from World Games. Um, although the bikes were uh, bought separately. I think I might have got one bike with it for some reason, I'm not 100% sure, but yeah. Um, again, no big rush to, to sort of paint those really. Um, next up we have um, a whole bunch of Soviets because uh, again at one point I had a Soviet army ready to build and I suppose this, this could be classed as practically the entire army because I, I used to like collecting my bolt action armies all at once, um, apart from my Germans and my Americans. Um, so here we have, um, starting with a box of uh, Soviet infantry, so you've got four infantry there. Then we have a box of Siberian infantry, or Siberian veterans, sorry. So basically this is, um, I think you get slightly less, I think you get, yeah, 34, uh, 34, uh, basically plastic infantry um, along with uh, a little bunch of metal uh, cast figures you can see on the back there um, so we've got like a running machine gun team and, and some sort of like a, uh, some sort of close combat -y type guys um, so that's those uh, next up we have a war games factory uh, box of Russians um, which were, I think I picked them up fairly cheap, these guys. Um, obviously War Games Factory suffer from uh, being quite thin sculpts uh, and also their weapons uh, aren't particularly well detailed. Um, but I did like the fact that you got uh, a couple of uh, choices of uh, female characters in there, which I, which I thought was quite cool. Uh, and obviously you get, uh, how many do you get? Uh, you get 31 figures in this box, so that's more infantry for the for the Russians. I was originally going to sort of use them mostly for uh, sort of like the green, the green recruits because they're you know they're quite thin, so it, so it counts for sort of like the undernourished peasants being conscripted in to uh, to fight the war. Uh, next up, we have a a T34 uh, 76. Um, I did when I uh, ordered. Uh, this pack actually go for the, uh, the, the the slightly more powerful T34, um, but they sent me this one for, for some for some reason. And uh, again, uh, mainly due to the fact that I'm disabled, uh, I just can't be bothered to send stuff back um, because I can't easily get to a post office, um, and uh, I hardly ever see anyone. So I can't even sort of like ask somebody to go post it for me, and uh, well, not very easily anyway. So yeah, that's that out of the way, and then we have a uh, BA6, uh, which of course can also be used for a BA10. Um, I've got one from my Fens, um, not a particularly amazing model, uh, but it looks alright when it's done. A little bit fiddly to put together, uh, and quite boring. But um, I think when I, I think I've got one of those uh, sort of army deals, so I had to choose a scout car. Um, or I think it was a scout car or trap. So that's the bulk of the Warlord stuff. It's just a couple of blisters. Um, we have a Soviet light -like mortar and flamethrower and a Soviet command blister there. Then we have uh, some forward observers and uh, forward observer officers. And then we go into uh, plastic bag stuff. Or, yeah, this is, this is from some other companies, uh, as well as a little bit of Warlord mixed in that I've just got rid of the blister pack for. Um, now I'm going to forget the make of some of these troops. Um, so let's start with... Yeah, these guys here are actually Warlord. These guys are the Soviet uh, assault engineers pack. Um, 
I remember getting them for, for a really good price. Um, I've just ditched the blister pack and put them into a baggie. Um, so that's basically just a bunch of, uh, I think it's 10 or maybe 8. I think there's 10 actually, think about that. So 10 Russian engineers. Um, next up, we've got a couple of um, some Russian snipers, uh, female snipers. Uh, I can't remember the company that made these. Possibly First Core. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, but two quite cool looking female snipers there. <coughs> Excuse me. And we've got a casualty of some sort. Uh, maybe that's a, a dead female sniper. But that's what came in the, the blister pack for those guys. Or the baggie rather. Then we have a Russian mortar. Again, I believe this is, um, I think, first core, I'm not 100% sure. I mean, perhaps uh, if you recognise the sort of the stand, they're quite sort of chunky miniatures actually. Um, don't know if you'd recognise recognize that. They're quite shiny metal as well. So that's the mortar team. I remember uh, um, getting these guys because uh, I didn't have a mortar team within my initial um, when I first initial bought sort of like the army deal pack. Uh, next up we have this is actually a War Games uh, Illustrated uh, miniature, um, and it's meant to be uh, Leon Trotsky. Um, but I was planning on using him just as a normal uh, commissar figure because uh, he's he's quite cool. Um, so there he is. It's one of their minute is it minute uh, giants in miniature uh, series. Um, I did actually win one of their competitions. Um, I think when they did the Lord of uh, Lord Marlborough figure. Well, I suppose I've actually come across them in my mountain. Uh, I'm on a deal, I'll obviously go into, into the story a little bit more, so I'll leave that uh, until I come across them. So that's those. Uh, next up we've got these guys, or uh, well, these uh, females, are actually from uh, the Dice the dice Lady, or the Dice Bag Lady. Um, one of her, sort of, um, she did a, I think it was a Kickstarter originally. Um, or something like that, of to do like a platoon of like, or, or a whole bunch of like female Russian figures. Uh, and I just picked up like one uh, squad of uh, of female uh, Russian infantry, um, which I thought perhaps could make quite a cool uh, late war sort of green squad. Um, got some some submachine gunners. You got um, a whole bunch of infantry, and then one. Uh, with a DP-28. So that's those. Those are quite cool. And then finally, uh, again these, I think these guys are uh, first core again. Um, or if they're not, they're the same, they're all from the same company uh, as, as the others. The, 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 um, the mortar team and the uh, female snipers. We have a machine gun team, but the cool thing about this is that they come with uh, two machine gun teams, so you get one uh, static and one uh, moving. So there's all the machine gun bits, and here are the crews, but it looks like they might have made some kind of bungle, because um, for some reason um, I've only got uh, the Two of the, uh, I've got three of the standing crew, or the sitting crew, so ever, and but I've only got um, two of the actual uh, moving crew, and I've got like an extra half body. So I don't know if that was a mistake or whether you just get two different posed top bodies. But they look, they look pretty much the same to me. But so perhaps that was some sort of mistake. But uh, obviously uh, it's way too late to sort that out because I can't even remember. A, if they are actually first call, B, 
exactly how long I got the, how long ago I got these guys. Okay, so um, yeah, this is 15 minutes mark. Uh, I'm going to leave it here, and uh, I might possibly be back for one more uh, after this. Um, but obviously the series will continue. But at the moment I'm kind of doing one take, so I might do one more, and then I call it a day and do the rest another day. Uh, so uh, till the next video, catch you later.